for short. He is the chief food critic of the New York Times. Leo had discovered the chef's talent early on in his career, and the two became close friends as well as each other's confidants. He was known for his short temper, but always towards the wrong people. This is Josephine. She is the junior professor at the University of Culinary Arts Gustatory Division. She was notorious for her vigorous academic expectations. In fact, nobody ever passed her class. She was a woman who knew what she wanted and got what she wanted. She was married to Leo, but having an affair with Benedict. This is Benedict. He is a backpacking food enthusiast. Wherever there was good food, he would most certainly follow. He never stayed in one place for very long. There was always a new destination, a new adventure, no time to settle in. He wasn't exactly the commitment type. Relationships with him never lasted too long. That is, until he met someone. Benedict met Josephine on one of his adventures. There, the two fell in love very quickly. I have prepared for you today a true classic of mine, the spaghetti pomodoro. Please, enjoy. Well, how delightful is this, honey? Pomodoro, your favorite. Hmm, yes, delightful, really. Well, I am famished. Bon appetit. Mm. Ah, oh, chef, you've outdone yourself again. Yes, yes, excellent, quite excellent, but there's something different. Yes, yeah, something, something. The sauce, maybe. My friends, before I'm the chef, I am an honest man, of integrity, of truth. I candidly admit that I have a confession. One of the pastas you've eaten has been poisoned. Five minutes started on the timer, so confess. I have the antidote. Chef, this is ridiculous. I'm a happily married man, Josephine has been nothing but faithful, and Benedict, why, he's hardly ever in the country. Don't be naive. You know something's wrong. Chef, Balthazar, you don't know what you're talking about. Josephine, say something. Yes, Josephine, say something. Anything. There's nothing to say. Benedict? Chef, I... You do realize that this is at least attempted murder. I cannot even imagine the consequences to your it's flattering, but I would be more concerned for your own life. So what? You're just gonna let one of us die? If you're so worried, then confess! Balthazar, do not speak to my wife like that! For once in your life, Leo, open your eyes! Guys, the timer! Thanks for the meal, Chef. It was savory, delicious, hot. Just how I like it. I guess I'll be seeing you on court. Bennett, are you coming, dear? The chef stood in place in the empty room, of course with the exception of the dead body on his dining table, for a very long time. Josephine goes out that very night to her favorite restaurant and orders another spaghetti pomodoro. After all, she had always thought that revenge was a dish best served hot.